back to Ems Adventure and I am on Chatham Park Hill searching for cup and ring marks. to Ems Adventure and I am out with the dog on a very quick walk to find cup and ring, ring marks on Chatham Park Hill. Chatham Park Hill I have never been up here before. Um, I've been over yonder but I haven't been up onto Chatham Park Hill because it's always generally full of wildebeest and wild boars dragons and dinosaurs and I'm also trying out my new DJI Osmo 6 SA gimbal which is I'm finding very hard to um, work boggy mcboggy oh I mean I'm up to the paps already Still so wet.
The curious hollows and grooves we call cup and ring marks, or rock art, were etched onto outcrops and boulders across northern Britain by Neolithic and Bronze Age people between 6,000 and 3,500 years ago. This set is on a large exposed section of sandstone, overlooking views of the Cheviot Hills. This area may look like any old boring field from the road, but it has so much more to offer, as I soon find out. What a day to be out exploring. When I was younger, my parents would make us trudge around the Northumberland countryside, and I never really appreciated it. But now at 52, I can think of nothing better than putting on my boots, going out and searching for Hillfort settlements and rock art. Unfortunately, I don't have to go far for this. So interesting up here. There is, uh, I found the first lot of cup and ring marks um, and I'm heading over, there's a trig point over here and I'm going to head over there. The views down to Chatton and Wooler and the Cheviots are absolutely incredible. I can't believe I've not been up here and it's like two minutes from my doorstep. Madness, madness I tell you. Literally just looks like a flat piece of land. Just a normal bog standard field but then there's some, there's quite a few rocky outcrops and I've only managed to find a, a, quite a large slab with cup and ring marks on. These ones here don't have any cup and ring marks on that I can see. Um, but there's a one over there. The only thing about it is it's not in the middle of nowhere and there's quite a bit of traffic noise. But hey, it doesn't matter when you've got it all to yourself. style but it's quite a rickety style and it goes over a barbed wire fence and I'm a bit concerned that the rickety style may collapse under my weight it's not looking very good I mean half of it's missing sort of had the kneel on it but hey ho so I'm just gonna get over this fence and head over that way Look, the sun, I can't get proper footage of the hills because the sun is absolutely blinding the Cheviots at the minute. Beautiful place for sunset. If you're taking your dog, cat, lion or polar bear out with you, please be mindful that the countryside is full of livestock and ground nesting birds. The birds which will be nesting between March and July are particularly fragile. This area was livestock free at the time I was there so it was okay to have my dog off the lead. I did see a stray sheep so quickly got Rollo on the lead.
There's a lot of boulder piles like this. I've researched and can't find any information on them. Now because of how high up this location is and the fact there's remains of a settlement, I can only assume that they're either left over from old buildings or farmsteadings. If anyone has any ideas, please pop it in the comments. This is the trig point for Chatton Park Hill, standing at 184 metres. Distance there, you've got Bowden Doors. see anything for the sunshine not that I'm complaining let's have a little spin around this way you can see over to Ingram and then there's Heather Woods and Ross Hill See what's over here. See what else we can find. Sheep. I see sheep. Dog on the lead. Oh, I was on the lead now because there's some sheep. wondering what I'm doing up here I think. There's a lovely woodland here um, but you can't get through it because of the storm arming and it's just, it's just a small woodland so I don't think they're going to do anything about it at the minute which is a shame because I could walk from my house. My house is uh, three miles away from where I am at the minute three sheep. Look 
apologies that I don't have my mic with me but uh, as I say I'm just trying out this new gimbal see what the crack is I have noticed the battery on my phone is uh, going down quite rapidly oh now look at this I've looked on the map and there's no um, sight of a hill fort but this looks very interesting not be this This looks like ramparts and there's a lot of bouldery stones lying around. Let's have a look. No common red marks on here. Oops, I'm just tripping over the stones here. So that is looking over to Fulbury. Hey up. That might be something or oh, could just be weathered. Yeah, my battery is literally on 15%, so I'm not sure I might be able to finish this video. We shall try. These are definitely ramparts of some sort. Look at the shape of that. The farmer has an agreement with DEFRA to provide access to this area, so please respect it. He receives compensation in return for limiting the stock and not using chemicals such as fertiliser or herbicides that might damage the rock art and area around it. On the north side of Chatham Park Hill is a miniature quarry or dell scooped out of the hillside by diggers for sand or lead ore, or by stormwater rushing down the hill. A spring now buried in sand may once have flowed here. Legend has it that hundreds of years ago a defrocked priest used the Ketley stone as a font for secret baptisms. Others say it was chiselled out of the stone and used for food. My battery died on my camera so I returned the next day as I wanted to revisit the beautiful cup and ring marks and catch the sunset. These cup and ring marks are just below Ketley Crags. Underneath the northwest facing rock overhang above Lion Burn Valley, the carvings of Ketley Crags consist of a highly complex design of cups, rings, grooves and gutters that covers almost the entire rock surface leaving very little space between and this was the perfect place for watching the sun go down I love to watch sunrises and sunsets but there's something extra special about this location I don't know if it's the history or the spiritual feelings I got but I felt completely at peace here
Thanks for coming along for another M's adventure. No doubt I'll be out again soon and I'll take you along with me. In the meantime, if in doubt, just get out.